The maxillary nerve block will numb the teeth, bone, and soft tissues on the affected side, along with the upper lip, cheek, side of nose, and lower eyelid. I like to think of this injection as a PSA with a long needle, since the main difference between the two is that you use a long needle to be able to reach the maxillary nerve as it runs through the pterygopalatine fossa. Use a long needle. I have a 27 gauge long here. Insert at the same PSA location, which is distal to the second molar at the height of the mucobuccal fold. Insert about 30 millimeters or three fourths of the needle length at the same 45, 45, 45 angles as the PSA. This injection does have high risk for hematoma as you will be closer with a long needle to the plexus. Reasons to use this technique are if the patient is not getting numb with the usual MSA, PSA, or ASA for root debridement, or if you have a patient with lots of dental anxiety with injections, this way you can do one injection versus three.